Number one, what needs to happen going into tomorrow's session, we need to reclaim 275, right? If we can reclaim 275, I do believe we have, there's a shot back at 278. And at 278, if you are a bull trader, you better hope they reclaim that 278 level. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, is doing well, right? We got three days left till uh, Santa Claus comes. The question is, have you been naughty? Have you been nice? Are you getting Christmas presents? Or are you getting coal? And for the bulls and the bears, uh, this is still to be determined. For, we'll get to that in a second. As always, guys, uh, welcome aboard. For all you new folks, please like to continue to support the channel. And if you are new, uh, please subscribe so you can get notified when we are uh, uploaded. So other than that, I hope everybody is having a great time to their great start to their festive season. Hopefully it spills over good fortune, good health uh, into 2023. So let's talk about it. Number one, uh, yesterday, uh, my son had a game. There was no video last night. My son had a game like an hour, hour and 15 minutes away. Uh, it, it, the game went a little longer Then I got caught in traffic. By the time I got home, it was so late. I couldn't even, I couldn't even put a, a sentence together. So I apologize. Uh, there was no video yesterday. But if you go back to pretty much not event day yesterday anyway, um, but if you go back to the weekend video, we talked about, you know, NASDAQ down, you know, six, seven sessions in a row, right? Uh, no matter how you slice it, the worst markets, the best markets, the market when it's strong doesn't go straight up. The market when it's weak, it doesn't go straight down. And eventually, if you watch the, the video over the weekend, we kind of said, look, we Monday and Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, we'll probably get a dead cat bounce. They attempted the dead cat bounce yesterday. They didn't quite make it. Today, they finally got their dead cat bounce. So let's kind of review from the technical point of view uh, of what recently happened, what happened today, and what I think is gonna happen in the next couple of days. So let's talk about it, right? So we all know the importance of this 50-day moving average uh, that we you know, pretty much broke, dipped below, and started building below this 50-day moving average of this 278 level. We covered that 278 level uh, pretty much in nausea prior to that 278 um, area of uh, concentration, right? So we had another four days down, tired sellers got, you know, just kind of got winded, right? It's the best way of saying it. Again, nothing goes straight down. And we finally got our dead cat bounce. So when you look at the final tally today, you got all the major benchmarks uh, pretty much up, up about, give or take about uh, one and a half percent, um, you know, one and a half percent on the positive side, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. Um, here's where we, you know, here's where we look at the market from a common sense point of view instead of from an emotional point of view. We all know, just like any other, you know, any other, um, you know, any other entity. For example, when a stock breaks out, let's 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 use this as an example, right? When a stock breaks out and breaks out above fifty dollars a share, and it goes on a two three day run and it goes to fifty three bucks, right? There's usually some profit taking, and there's a good chance that there should be at least one retest right retest where the stock has broken out again this is not exclusive information to the ps60 theory this is just bare bones uh technical analysis and for any, how any of you guys trade you probably have realized that over the years stocks break out retest those levels of the breakout they hold and they go back again well the same thing happens on on, on the downside as well right so here is the breakdown here below 278 we went all the way down to 267 right there's a high probability if we do get one more day of you know dead cat bounce and that's and that's what it is right until we get above the 278 area all this is, is a dead cat bounce and again whatever you want to call it potato potato it doesn't make a difference it's it, it is what it is right so today give a credit to the bulls uh they traded they reclaimed and i mean the cues they reclaimed the five day moving average if there is another day up tomorrow right the cues have to get above 275 right that's today's upper channel if the cues can start building above this 275 level today that i do think there's a shot right there's a shot between today and friday we can retest back right to where this whole breakdown started this 278 level what i think is going to happen if that is the case right if we start rallying in the next couple of days 
Uh, if that is the case, I do believe the Bears will defend that 278 initially. If you, if you guys remember, well, that's usually what happens when you lose a major area, major support. They're going to try to retest it, and they're probably going to be unsuccessful the first time. If there is going to be a success and we're having this conversation at more meaningful prices, then there, that's going to need a, it's kind of need to build a base below that 278 a little bit and then finally get through. I personally don't think it's going to happen uh, very, very quickly. But again, hopefully I'm wrong and hopefully we're having this conversation a lot higher. But from, from the intermediate short term conversation, number one, what needs to happen going into tomorrow's session, we need to reclaim 275, right? If we can reclaim 275, I do believe we have, there's a shot back at 275. And at 278, if you are a bull trader, you better hope they reclaim that 278 level. If you are the believer that uh, a this is strictly just a replacement uh, retracement uh, off of technical damage that occurred below the 278 level, then if you are a bear, you're going to probably want to initiate uh, a short position off that around that 278 area. So that's kind of you know, that's kind of both sides. It's not a it's not a biased uh, statement. It's not something that I want or need to happen. Again, for me. It doesn't make a difference. I trade both sides of the market, long, short, and definitely doesn't make a difference. Um, the trickiest part about a dead cat bounce, like we always talk about, it's dead, right? That's the whole point. It's dead. Uh, you could have a gap up on the dead cat bounce, and that's exactly what we had today. And then you'll have stocks trying to go up another dollar or so, not named uh, not named Apple, not named Meta. That was actually very strong. And speaking of um, Apple, you, you can see it, right? Here's, here's kind of my point uh, of view on Apple, right? You could turn around today and say, wow, Apple is strong. Apple's not strong, okay? Apple had a dead cat bounce. The stock just went in the last four days from one, in the last five days from 146 to 132. How can you call a stock strong being back at 135? It did fine today, right? It did absolutely fine today. Uh, it reclaimed, the, you know, it reclaimed back uh, the five-day moving average. Is it possible if Apple starts building above today's highs tomorrow, can it get back to this you know, one, you know, 140 level, 140 level when the stock broke down, the same case as uh, as the Qs, absolutely. But again, let's kind of redefine, right? Let's kind of reclassify what the word strong is, okay? Stock going from 150 to 132 in a week and then going up $3, very, very tough to use the word strong. Let's find something else, constructive, productive, uh, day, one day at a time, baby steps. These are all cool things. Uh, to kind of use, but it's very, very tough to say, wow, Apple ripped today. Uh, okay, right? Potato, potato. But in any case, again, for it to, to rally at least one more day, it's going to need to confirm this whole channel here that it lost uh, three days ago and start building back into this 40, 41 area. Again, the same case as the Qs. If the Qs broke down at 178 and you want to, you know, you want to an initial, take an initial stab at the short side, uh, into that 178 push on the Qs, that's valid. If you want to take one more, assuming it gets there, of course, if you want to take a a push uh, into this 141 level where, where Apple broke uh, broke down, this 4041 level, that's valid as well. So the Bulls, uh, the Bulls definitely uh, got a little bit of work to do. And if you go through, uh, if you go through charts, you'll see that on a lot of names, right? Again, the hardest days to trade are counter trend days. They're just the hardest because you already know that the trend in the overall market now, since we're below the 50 day moving average is down. Because as we say all the time, but just because we're below the 50 day moving average doesn't mean the market's gonna go hell in a handbasket. Hell, you could just see it right here, right? Here's the, here's the breakdown of the 50 day. We went down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 right? You kind of get the point. So we're not gonna go straight down. We're not gonna go straight up. And as long as the bulls uh, keep on getting rejected back uh, underneath the, the 50 day moving average, again, the trend continues to be uh, to the downside, at least the value continues to be to the downside. What the bulls do not want to do not want to happen uh, more than anything, right? Than anything tomorrow is start losing today's lows, right? We don't want that, right? If you're a bull, uh, we don't want that. So it needs to reclaim 275 to the upside for a measure of potential back to the 50 day uh, content point or rejection point. Uh, or if, it, if the bears start losing, if the bear states start taking control of today's lows, that 269, 70s level, then we, again, we already know what's going to happen uh, next. So it's pretty, pretty basic stuff. The good part about it is look, we're winding down the end of the year. I'm just basically in like scalp mode today. Um, I just like did a couple of rejections. You know, they worked a little bit for a little bit. Of, ironically, if you guys remember, the biggest move of the day came from IQ. If you guys remember, I did a video last week. Uh, we talked about unusual option flow on this thing. This thing finally broke out. 
Uh, they were coming for short-term expiration, 450s, uh, even $5 calls in January. This is actually, ironically, the biggest move of the day. Everything else was just like, you know, up 50 cents, down, up 50 cents. So again, dead cat bounces are, are it's like playing a 2-7 offsuit and you're just bluffing your opponent on the other side of the table. Again, stocks need structure. Stocks need wind at their back. Again, if you're an investor, I'm not talking to you, right? I'm not talking to you. We're not having a conversation. Well, I think Amazon's going to be at 220 in the next six to eight years. Okay, great. We're talking about tomorrow, right? We're talking about tomorrow, and it doesn't make a difference what you think is going to happen tomorrow, what I think is going to happen tomorrow. We're either going to literally take out the top of the range here and start confirming back today's channels and take a stab back at the 278 level, or we're going to lose today's lows and start going back to the previous lows. The one stock, again, the one stock that's just not rallying, it just continues to uh, just just sit there, man. It's just, it just you could just see, man. It just it feels like forced liquidation. I, I feel like we're having. Uh, the same conversation literally every single day. It cannot get above water. Again, it tried today a couple of times. You know, the NASDAQ at one point today was up about 200 points. It tried. It several times it tried. Again, it's just like a drowning victim. It's like, <gasps> and they push it right back down. And that's exactly what's happening to Tesla. We did see some 130 puts uh, coming in uh, for, the, for the end of the week. So, you know, if Tesla's going to need some work to do. I, you know, look, just like Apple, is there a chance this thing dead cow bounces? Yeah, I, there's a range that I'm watching to the upside um, that, you know, I'm prepared for, just, just like Apple, right? Because Apple went down like a billion days in a row and then it finally decided that selling got a little bit numb. It could happen to Tesla as well. So I'm, I'm definitely keeping an eye on potential bounce in the next couple of days on Tesla. But again, it, it's very, I've been saying that pretty much, hey, be careful since like here, right? Since here, and um, this was what, about uh, five, six days ago. So uh, it just continues to go lower. So that's it, guys. That's pretty much it. We're winding down uh, 2022. A lot of good things uh, happened in 2022. We matured. We got better. Or as I like to, or as I like to say, you know, there's no such thing as a great trader. Okay, so stop trying to inspire yourself to be a great trader. Be a great human being, but more important, right? More important, be nice, right? Be nice. We can. It doesn't cost you to be nice. Uh, it's free. And I, I'm telling you, life tastes and smells and feels a lot better when people are actually on your side and not fighting for your throat. Guys, God bless. Stay blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.